Hey folks, what is going on? Happy Friday. Welcome back to, to my channel. And here's a video on what is algo trading. So what is algorithm trading? Uh, in this short video, I'll cover everything you need to know. It's not that complicated, but you hear this term all the time when you're reading up on social media, on the news. And they're like, especially when you buy into like a pump and dump, you hear people going like, oh my God, the algos are running the game, you know, stuff like that. So what is it? Simple guide for newbies. And I'll dive right into it right now. So let's, let's start off by saying what this is in simple terms is pretty much a program that kind of executes trades based on the criteria that you provide for them or the filters. So this is, if you think of it very simply, it's kind of like a stop limit order, right? Uh, but it gets more complicated because you can code it based on more different things that you add to it. So like what a stop limit, let's say Facebook is trading at $200 per share, right? When it drops to 199, you want to sell and get out of the position. And this is exactly what algo trading is except you put in more different criteria. Uh, everything is customizable so something that you would do is like when facebook goes below 200 dollars as well as is uh is above the the 50 uh sma line or or the rsi uh went higher than 70 or something like that when all those combinations hit the dot then the trade executes so it's a set of program that, that people program, uh, put together, these programmers, they, they write it up and it automatically executes these type of trades. So let's talk about some, some more examples. Uh, for example, you can buy 50 shares of a stock when this 50 day moving average goes above the 200 day moving average, right? Uh, another one would be like sell shares of the stock when the 50 day moving average goes below the 20 to a 200 day moving average. So again, it's pretty much just a computer program that will automatically monitor these stock prices and do the trading for you. So it's hundred percent hands off. You don't have to be sitting there every single day, staring at the screen, staring at the charts, and these trades will execute for you uh, uh, automatically. So what are some of the benefits of using algo trading, right? Trades are, executed at the best possible price based on the criteria that you provide for the software that you code into the software of course trade order placement is instant and accurate that way that if um a lot of times like you you know people are worried about oh you know i i wasn't quick enough my internet lagged or you're traveling and you're trying to make these day trades happened to me before you know i was on a trip in asia and the internet was just so slow that i couldn't execute these trades with algo trading, you have to program in place to do it for you. So there's there's less human error involved, right? And you execute these trades perfectly. Now, this does not mean that your order will get filled 100%. Uh, there's still there's still a lot of like uh, errors that can happen, but at least we know that speed that comes with the the human side of things won't be an issue. So again, it's all about just like being reduced risk with manual errors and stuff like that, right? Uh, one of the good things is that algo trading can be back tested. So we can, we can write the program to look up historic data and identify these type of trends that maybe even happened a year or two years ago. And a lot of times I always say in all my other videos, you know, history repeats itself in the stock market. So instead of doing all these analysts yourself every single day, you know, you can write these programs to kind of do it for you and execute the trades based on the historic data. So what are some cons? Nothing is perfect in life, right? So same with, with algo trading, nothing is perfect. Imagine if your software crashed or you wrote the wrong piece of code in the software, things cannot go your way and you lose a big amount of money. There's a lot of risk involved. Now, one of the biggest cons of algorithm trading is that there is, um, there is no way to identify catalysts or unexpected events, right? So tomorrow, Twitter can can announce a new saying that, hey, you know, Jack Dorsey decides to implement some sort of political crap like he always does, and now the stock drops by like $10. That happens all the damn time, right? And there's no way a computer program can predict that. You can use a computer program to look up news, but there's no way that you can predict if it's good news, bad news, and and 
how to determine these unexpected events. Because think of it this way: you can you can program an algo trading to uh, automatically execute a trade when the price gets to a certain place. So in the case of a bad event, if it drops too low, boom, the trade executes. You sell out your position. But what if by the end of the day, Jack Dorsey comes back out again and gives a speech saying that, hey, we just did this. And now now the stock goes back up by like $10, right? So, you know, there's a lot of things that catalyst-wise cannot be predicted. And again, another thing is that uh, it requires a lot of capital because these trades execute so often during the day, execute so quickly that you're, you're buying and selling and there's that wait time for your funds to settle. The last thing is that it requires a lot of coding knowledge to kind of build your own trading software that caters to your needs. Well, that's the brief overview of what algo trading is. Next time you, you see these terms uh, on social media, on stock tweets or wherever, now you know what it is. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe for more, and thank you guys for watching. Happy